Just a little video on how the integrated winch camera works on the Futaba T6K handset with an RT4. Um, it's a basic standard handset. That says monitor for the winch and the winch plugs into the winch port installed on the RT4 there. There's just a little button on the underside of the winch. I'll just press that button, see that the light on the camera comes on and on the monitor now we've got um, the picture from the winch camera being transmitted. So with the T6K handset, all functions are as standard, all your throttle on here, forwards, backwards, left, right. Uh, this switch here is your backup battery and this little dial here that does the side lights on the, on the RT4. I'll just turn that dial, you can see that they're coming on now and they're dimmable as well. Um, the left hand stick got right hopper, left hopper, hook release, hook release, quick tap down brings your headlights on, quick tap down turns your headlights off. Um, this switch here, this is dual rate. So we've got three speed settings on that switch. If I bring it down to the middle, you'll be able to hear the pitch of the engine change. And bring it right down, I've got an uber slow creep mode. And then put it back up to the top and you've got full beans again. Um, this switch here is how we turn the, uh, the winch onto this stick control here. So we have that in the top position, like so. And then using that stick now, you can raise and lower the winch. As soon as you let go of the stick, it returns to center and the winch stops. And the monitor isn't actually flickering, it's just the, uh, the refresh rate of the video on the phone recording it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how the winch camera works on the RT4 that I install. And that's direct into this port here. All the controls are fully controllable off the handset. And then if we want to put the uh, hook releases back, flick that switch back down to the bottom position and Got us hook releases back. And again, let's switch back up. We've got the winch. There we go.